Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is substrings of length k with k minus one distinct elements, right? So as usual, first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we'll be coding it up. Uh, guys, sorry for the delay, right? So I was not making videos since two to three days because I was somewhere out uh, with my family. So now I'm back. I'll make sure to make the videos continuously regarding the POTD, right? So make sure to subscribe my channel for more such videos. Turn on the bell icon and do join our Telegram community too. Well, let's get started with the problem statement now. The problem says, uh, given a string S and an integer K, find a count of all substrings of length K, which have exactly K minus one distinct characters right so this is what our problem is okay so we are having a string s I, uh, and we are having an integer k we have to count all the substrings see they have mentioned substrings right yes. so they should be occur in a sequence so count of all substrings which are of length k and should be having exactly k minus one distinct characters let's understand the same with the help of an example so here's our string a b c c and k value is 2 so now whatever task is we have to count, we have to find the count of all substrings of length 2, which is having exactly one distinct character. Okay. So if I will ask you what are the substrings uh, for this given string, so what are they going to be? A, B, B, C, C, C. So right, so these are the substrings of length 2. Now in these substrings, we have to find out that particular substring, which should have exactly one distinct character. So for this one, you can see there are two distinct character. There are two distinct character. Here is just one, that is C. So what would be the output? Output would be one. Let's have a look on the second example too. So here the value of K is three. Now how many number of substrings we do have? A, A, B, one, then A, B, A, two, then B, A, B, three, right? So we are having three substrings, right? We are having three substrings of length K. So now we have to find out those substrings which are having k minus one or distinct characters means two distinct characters. So here you can see we are having a b two distinct character a b here also here also a b right. So the output would be what the count would be what three and that would be our output. So what we have to do is we have to complete the function count of substrings which takes a string s and an integer k as input and return the count of substring of length k having k minus one distinct characters, expected time complexity and auxiliary space they have specified, right? So that's what. Oh, so that's what we have to do. So I hope that you are clear with the problem statement, right? So the first and the naive approach that you can think about is that what we can do is we can generate all the possible substrings of a given string, right? And out of these substrings, we can find out what we can do. We can check uh, if these substrings that like we have find out if they're having, uh, if they're having what, if they're having exactly k minus one distinct character. So we'll be generating all the possible substrings of length k for a given string, and then we'll be finding out the substrings which is having exactly k minus one distinct characters, right? So that is the uh, naive approach that should be there in your mind. But what further optimization could be done here? See, if you will see here, right? Uh, for example, this string we have, okay? So, a b. Uh, we have to we have to find a chunk of substring which is having length two here because k values two. So first we find a b, right? Now uh, c, we have to what next what next uh, substring that is possible that is b c, right? So what we can do is uh, as of now you have considered this chunk right a b. So next we'll be including c and we'll be excluding this a. So the next uh, substring that we'll be having that would be bc again uh, we'll be moving further so we'll be including this cc and we'll remove this b right so what approach we are going to use here what approach we are going to use here we are going to use here sliding window approach right so how how we'll be achieving our um, target uh, how we'll be solving basically this problem so for this what uh, also we have to keep uh, keep track of the count of the distinct characters for a given substring if you are having exactly k minus distinct characters or not so i think uh, 
in parallel if i will make you understand the code you will be able to understand the approach right so what we are doing is here is first of all we have store the length of the string and result uh, is basically basically responsible for keeping the count of the uh, count of all sub strings which are of length k and having exactly k minus 1 just in character so they, that we are going to return at the end and ij we have both are initialized with they do now we will be using a hash map here so this hash map would be responsible for uh, keeping track of the frequency of a character so key would be character and uh, integer would be the value okay now what we are doing is so we are having a loop here while j value is less than that of n so obviously it is so now see if we have to consider a window of uh, 2 so ab would be window like ab this window will be will be including two characters so what would be the value of ij if i would ask you so i let's say is i is 0 here and uh, on b we have j so j value is 1 right so there are two characters uh, how you will make sure that there are two characters so so what would be that that window thing what would be that window thing so j minus ij value is for when we are considering this ab so j value is 1 i value 0 so 1 minus 0 plus 1 also we have to add so we can make sure okay huh so there are two characters we have included so what we are doing here is j minus i plus 1 less than equal to k it means what we are doing what we are doing in this condition is that that in our window we haven't uh, uh, reach the we haven't included the characters more than more than the value of k right so as of now i will j value 0 i value 0 0 minus 0 plus 1 so 1 1 less than equal to 2 yes the condition is true right the condition is true so we'll be putting this character we'll be putting this character a so that's what we are doing here is we are putting this character to our hash map right uh, here we are making sure if this character is not there if this key and let's understand this way if this key is not there so what we're going to do is um the count the frequency is going to be what one right and then we are going to increase the value of j so j will be pointing to this b now okay j will be pointing to this b now right so again j value is less than that of n right now uh, again we're going to check the same conditions j value is one i value zero one minus zero plus one that would be two two less than equal to two the condition is true so again we are going to uh insert one key value pair right so what is the character at jth position b and what would be the count associated with that one right because this is not already there in the uh, hash map so in hash map right now we are having two entries a as well as b okay okay cool now j value will be incremented so j value will be to this c now so j value will be two j value will be two right and it will be pointing to this c now okay now two minus zero plus one that would be what three three less than equal to two condition is false right so we won't be moving inside this if condition instead we'll be moving inside this else condition it means what that we have got that window which is containing k characters a uh, so you're right, right right we're having two characters a b so now what we whatever next thing is to do if we got that window so in that uh in that substring what basically we have to check we have to check if we are having k minus one uh, characters or not so here we are checking if map dot size equal equal k minus one so currently map is having two entries right a as well as b right it is having two entries and so two is not equal to one right because k value is two two minus one we'll be having one right so we are uh, not going to increment the value of res now what we are going to do is so next we have to consider this substring bc right we have to consider bc so we are going to exclude this a from the window we are going to remove it move aside so what we are doing here is that we are uh, putting uh, the basically we are decrementing the frequency of the character that is uh, located at i ith position so i value is what that was zero right so at zero the position we have this a so we are decrementing the frequency associ associated with that and what was the frequency one so now uh, the frequency associated with a is zero right so here we are simply checking that if uh, the ith character if the key that is there map dot get s dot carrot i which is nothing but a right so what is the uh, what is the value associated with a now after we have done this decrementing thing that is zero right so th just remove this entry we are simply removing this entry so that's what we are doing here is simply removing this entry simply removing this key value pair okay now what we're doing is we are incrementing the value of i so i would be pointing to this b now and where is j j is pointing to this c now j was already there on c right so 
okay again we are going to move inside this um, loop itself so j value was what j value was 2 and i value is what now that is 1 so 2 minus 1 we'll be having what 1 plus 1 2 2 less than equal to 2 condition is true right so now we are in we are going to put this c uh, we are going to put this c inside the map and so we'll be having this entry so right now in the map we are having two values b as well as c okay so again uh, j value would be incremented so j value would be this 0 0 1 2 3 3 now Again, we are going to check the same thing. So, 3 minus 1, 2 plus 1, 3 less than equal to 2 condition is false, right? So, we'll be hoping on to this else part. So, right now in the map, we are having two entries, B as well as C, right? So, again, this if condition is not true. Again, what we're going to do is, so at the ith position, we have the correct of what? Because I value is what? 1. So, we have B, right? So, with B, we are going to decrement the frequency. With B, what is the frequency associated? 1 right so now um, with b the frequency associated is going to be 0 and if this is 0 in this condition so we are simply removing this entry right so this b is also going to be removed from uh, hash map so right now in hash map we are having just c okay and i value will also be decrement incremented so here we are doing i plus plus right so i value is going to be what now 2 so again we're going to check this condition uh, so j value was what uh 0, 1, 2, 3, minus i value is 2, 3 minus 2, 1, plus 1, 2, we are having 2 less than equal to 2, the condition is 2, so we are going to put c, we are going, now at the jth position, what do we have c, and this entry is already there, this key, this key c is already there in the hash map, so what we are going to do is, we are going to increment the count associated, right, so the count was what, the count was what, 1, now the count is going to be 2, so we are having just one entry in the key in the hash map that is c and the count associated is 2 right now okay so that's that's what it is now j value will be incremented and we'll come out of this loop because j is not no longer less than n right so here see here we have put this if condition to check because see uh, we have the values in the map right so here we are simply checking that if map dot size is equal equal k minus 1 so right now in the map we are having just one entry uh so map dot size is what one okay and is a one is equal equal to one right the condition is two so res would be incremented and that is going to be one and that's what was the associated answer you can check likewise you can check likewise for uh, for this example as well let me give you a quick idea on that as well so again see for this one um for this one we have to uh, in the first window we'll be having these in the first window, we'll be having this have a string A, A, B, right? So what would be the what would be the entry in the hash map? Because there is A and B only. So with A, the count associated would be 2 and with B, that would be 1. So this condition would be checked, right? When uh, J value would be hoping on to this A, right? So uh, will be, so this if condition would be false, we'll be uh, getting into this else part, right? And as if there are just two entries in the hash map, so this condition is going to be true. So, res would be what? res plus plus res is going to be 1. Right? Then what would we will do? We will remove this a. Right? We will remove this a. Basically, not uh, remove this a. We'll reduce the frequency associated. Because see, before it would be uh, with a, there would be frequency associated 2. We'll update this with 1. That's what we are doing here is right? Minus 1. Because we have to uh, exclude this starting a. Right? And this if condition is not going to be true. Right? And then uh, i would be incremented. I would be pointing to this one then we'll be considering ABA likewise we'll be doing right so I hope that you must have understood the problem statement the code the logic part right so that was all from my side thank you so much for watching this video I hope that it was helpful I have provided the code in the description so you can refer from there thank you so much for watching everyone bye bye